Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Gladys Studio and in this today video tutorial I am going to discuss with you material takeoff in Revit and what is the meaning of material takeoff and what is the difference between material takeoff and schedule and quantities. So to begin with I am going to make you understand about the definition first. So I am going to material takeoff definition in construction industry so you can see this definition that material takeoff is a term used in engineering and construction and refers to a list of materials with quantities and types such as specific grades of steel that are required to build a design structure or item this list is generated by analysis of blueprint or other design document the list of required materials for construction is sometimes referred to as the material takeoff list so whatever required material for construction is referred to as a material takeoff list and suppose if you want the subcategories of this reinforcement bar such as grades of steel you can use material takeoff and if you want to compute the volume of motor used in this bricks you can use this material takeoff so it is basically concentrate on material name volume area and uh, schedule and quantities it is the tabular form and we, it gives basic information about that material and if you want to know about more subcategories of that particular uh, material suppose bricks you can use this material take off schedules and you can see the definition here it lists the sub component or materials of any revit architecture family material take off schedules have all the functionality and characteristics of other schedule views but they allow you to show more details about the assembly of a component any materials that is placed in a component within revit architecture can be scheduled and you can also see here that in a material take off schedule you would use material area not the normal area in a schedule in quantities you can calculate the normal area also but in material we considered about materials area name volume and you can see here a schedule is a tableau display of information extracted from the properties of the element in a project and there are some uh, notes about using a material takeoff and you can see that revit architecture computes the volume of materials for individual layers within a wall some approximations are made to maintain performance Minor discrepancies might appear between the volumes visible in the model and those shown in the material takeoff schedule. So why does this happen? These differences occur when you add a sweep or a reveal to a wall or under this certain joint conditions. So you can see these two examples here we are using wall sweep and reveal and you can uh, find some minor differences in material takeoff so that you should be aware of so now i'm going to my revit project here and this is a simple residence and i'm going to use material takeoff into this so you can see uh, if i'm going to my level one i have uh, used uh, various types of uh, walls here and i have renamed them that is sc blocks sc block four inch and you can see uh, there are six inch walls five inch wall and these types of I have used in uh, this project and now I am going to use material takeoff so for viewing material takeoff uh, you are required to go to view tab here and you can see this schedule list here and if, if you select this arrow here you can see a schedule and quantities this already I have discussed in my previous tutorial I will give a uh, description links in uh, my description so that you can view and learn more about this schedule and quantities and now we will go to this term here material takeoff so now i am going to discuss about this material takeoff so i am going to select material takeoff and if you select material takeoff it will ask new material takeoff filter list multiple architectural structure so i am going to basically concentrate about architectural here and i want to know about wall material takeoff so i am going to select this wall you can see here multi category material takeoff so i am going to select wall here so this will be more material takeoff so if you are selecting any other things also you can see the roof material takeoff structural connection material takeoff so you can use anything so i am going to use wall here and 
it will ask phase of the construction like a schedule and quantities so whether you are working in your existing construction or new construction you can select so i'm uh, selecting here new construction and i'm going to click ok and after this this material takeoff properties window will appear and you can see this field and filter and shorting and grouping and formatting appearance that you can use and you can also do it from your properties tab later on so now i am going to add a first family of the wall so i will select family first and i will use this green arrow add parameters so this parameter is added in your schedule fields after this i will go and select family and type here and i will add this also and next i am going to select material name so i will look for material here you can see there are various material categories so i am going to select this material name here first and i will add this and then i will go for material volume i will select material volume and then i will go for material cost so i will use this material cost here and now i am going to enter a formula to compute the total cost of these materials so i am going to use fx here and now i am going to use total cost of walls so i will use a formula so i am going to enter discipline common here and now i will use type here i am going to type here currency and i will enter a formula here and that formula is that you are required to multiply material volume by material cost and then you have to divide uh, by cubic feet i will tell you why so i am going to select first material volume here and then you are uh, required to enter as artistics or star sign and then i will go and i am going to select this material cost and after this you are required to divide this by one feet and are required to give or three so we are working in cubic feet so we need to enter this one feet power three and if you are working in area you can enter two so this is to just uh, make you aware so i am going to enter this formula and you can see this is the total cost of wall so now i need information of all this family family and type material name material volume material cost and total cost of the wall so if you want to remove anything you can use this red arrow like a schedule in quantities and now i am going to click ok So now you can see this is the material takeoff list here and you can see the family here basic wall and you can see family and type here so you can expand this here and you can see basic wall ACC block and likewise whatever name I have entered and used in my project that is appearing here then you can see material name here and you can see these are all the material name and uh, these are all of the subcategories then you can see uh, the material volume here and you can see the material cost so how this cost is coming that i will tell you and now i am going to see this total cost of the walls so you can see this uh, cost of material by going to material type here suppose this is wall acc block and now i am going to select this wall here and i'm going to my architecture here and i'm going to label wall and i'm going to acc block and then i will go to edit type and then we'll go to a structure and you can see this default material here and if you'll select this default material here you can see this material browser default new material so you can uh, change the cost of the material or you can input uh, the cost of material uh, in material browser so if you will go to this uh, information about the particular material like default new material 
then you can rename this here if you want so i am going to rename this as a green brick green building blocks this is just to make you understand and now i am going to see this from your identity and if you go to identity here you can see the description then the class comments keywords and here it is the cost which is 10 here so suppose i am going to enter this cost here and i am going to enter the cost 25 depending on the market and see you will select individual material and you can change the cost from this material browser so it will be very handy and you can also enter the url from where you are getting the information about the cost of the material and you can also add some keynote and mark and so i am going to enter 25 and this is the green building blocks so you can see and i am going to apply ok then i will click ok apply ok and now we will see our material takeoff list and you can see this is the green building blocks and you can see the material cost here 25 and the total cost of the walls so likewise you can select your individual walls and every time you can go to material browser and you can change the identity data and you can in, uh, put cost there and you can find the total cost of the walls so likewise you can use this material takeoff so now you can go to your properties here and you can see this fields filter sorting grouping formatting and appearance you can use this field to add something which you are missing from this list you can add also you can remove this also like a schedule and quantity and you can filter here and uh, you can filter whatever things if you want to filter from here so i am not going to use any filter so i am going to sorting and grouping and now in sorting and grouping you can go to sort by family first and i will select ascending and i will select this footer here and i will use title counts and totals then by family and type and i will again use footer here and then by material name and i will use footer here you can leave this also this is and now i will use this grand totals here title counts and totals and i will click ok and you can see this is further improved and likewise you can see this footing footer and header and you can see the family types and categories so it is in ascending order so likewise you can work on your project and you can use this material takeoff for calculating other materials so i will make a detailed tutorials on individual materials some important materials in construction and i will use this material takeoff and schedule and quantities so this was the tutorial for the today session the next session i will come with some more interesting topics in debate so thanks for watching bye bye